Yes, hello mga ka -Well. Our topic for today is all about street art. Street art is an official and independent visual art created in public locations for public visibility. Street art is associated with the terms independent art, post-graffiti, neo-graffiti, and guerrilla art. Okay, let us start. Let's go! Did you know that we have different types of street art like graffiti which is one of the most popular street art which is done in the walls like this another type of street art is sculptures we also have the poster art 3d wall graffiti sticker street art another one is another popular is the spray paint murals and the sideway chalk art so the artists can express their feelings their talents their love to, to arts by simply um, expressing it on the walls or on the street Street art is one of the most hybrid forms of artistic expression in our modern world because its purpose is to draw upon what the viewers know and manipulate the physicality of the subject to make their point. So to express their feelings, their talent, they draw, they paint, they make an art on the wall or on the street.
If you're going to ask me why some street artists do this street art, the best explanation for this is they choose street art because it is close to the people. Some artists try to express their opinion and their work, like in this freedom wall. According to the history, the most famous street artist is Banksy. Probably the most famous street artist in the world is Banksy. And he began creating the socially conscious satirical stencils in native Bristol in the United Kingdom in the early 1990s. But for now, Banksy's identity remains unknown despite intense speculation. The two names most often suggested are Robert Banks and Robin Cunningham. Pictures that surface of a man who was supposedly Banksy pointed toward Cunningham, an artist who was born in Bristol in 1973. Traditional graffiti artists have primarily used spray paint to produce their work. Street art can encompass other media such as lead art, mosaic tiling, stencil art, and also sticker art, reverse graffiti, sculptures, and others.
The history of street art originated with tagging or scratching names on public properties. Graffiti artists in the 1970s and 1980s began to inspire people like Kate Haring, who did chalk drawings in New York City subway system before rising to prominence in the art world. Maybe some of you is asking, is street art considered an art? Okay, this is the best explanation. With permission, traditional painted graffiti is technically considered public art. However, it still stands that most street art is unsanctioned and many artists who have painted without permission. This had been glorified as legitimate and socially conscious artists.
in this street here in Milan, Italy, where this freedom wall is located, it became more popular for many artists, for many street artists, where they can express this, their masterpiece, their paintings, their talent. So, friends, when you're here in Milan, Italy, you can visit this place. You can be amazed with their artwork, with their paintings, only here in the Freedom Wall. As Ricky Lee Gordon, one of the street artists, quoted, I am trying to create beauty in my work that allows for beauty in other people. So again, this is Lapiwal Channel. Thank you very much for being with me in this another episode of my video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!